Welcome to our weekly Bible Reader Companion Series. This week our reading is taken from Luke chapter 24 and Acts chapter 1 through 9, with our memory verse being taken from Acts 2 and verse 42. From the New King James, Acts 2 and verse 42 reads, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Let's consider some thoughts found over in Acts chapter 4, verses 7 through 12 together. The first case of persecution against the church is described in this chapter. Peter and John are put into custody because their preaching on the uh, resurrection of Jesus disturbed a number of the religious leaders. In spite of this, the number of men who believed came to be about 5,000. We notice the clear and decisive apostolic response to persecution shown here by Peter and John as they were challenged. Let's read together Acts 4, verses 7 through 12. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, If we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he was made well, let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised up from the dead, by him this man stands here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. It's interesting. They ask by what power or by what name they had done this, the, the, the miraculous work they're talking about. The same question they ask of Jesus in Luke chapter 20 uh, in verse 2 after he cleansed the temple. The judges were seemingly referring to the healing of the lame man when they asked this question. They were asking the source of their power and what name the apostles had invoked as the one from whom their power and authority came. Note that this was predicted as would happen uh, to the apostles by Jesus. He told them that they were going to be brought before the council for his name's sake. And here we have this coming true. Peter did give answer as he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and he responded to the council concerning the healing of the lame men in the previous chapter. Jesus had promised this as well uh, to the apostles that they would have the aid of the Holy Spirit on such occasions uh, when they were questioned and had an opportunity to speak concerning Christ. Peter makes it clear that the source of the power came from the one that they had crucified and whom God had raised from the dead. Peter used this opportunity to preach Christ, his death, his resurrection. Remember, this was the same court that had recently condemned Jesus to die. But here Peter boldly affirmed that the one that they had crucified, that had been raised from the dead, performed this miraculous deed. It was by the power and the authority of Christ that this man was healed. Quoting from Psalms 118 and verse 22, Peter compared them to the builders who rejected a stone that later becomes the most important stone in the building, the cornerstone. You have to wonder if they made any connection at all to the facts that Jesus quoted from the same passage of scripture in Luke 20 and verse 17 after giving the parable of the wicked husbandman. Peter closes in verse 12 with the claim that Jesus provides much more than physical healing, but that only through him can one be cleansed, be made whole, and receive salvation. This was proven by his resurrection from the dead and the miraculous works uh, that were done. The opportunity of repentance and forgiveness was put before them, but they continued to reject the Savior. Nowhere in the world is there anyone besides Jesus who can save us, Peter clarifies. There is no second savior or through some other man-made process. It is only through him and obedience to his word that we can enjoy true fellowship with God and those of the like precious faith in him. Let us be mindful as we exp uh, respect, excuse me, the authority of Christ and we devote ourselves in service to him. Let us be mindful of those in the first century as we read in Acts chapter 2, in verse 42, to be devoted to God. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Thank you and join us again tomorrow as we continue to meditate on God's Word together.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.